Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here. I figured it was about time to make a video about this because people keep asking and I'm tired of telling people not to use Xenia. So I'm gonna help you get through this piece at least until the next big problem with Xenia comes and then maybe people will stop using Xenia, who knows? All right, so here is the problem that you're going to see. And uh, this is pretty much reported across the board. It doesn't matter the game, uh, anything like that, you're going to see this assertion failure. Now, if you go looking online, they're gonna have you installing GE Proton. They're gonna have you doing a whole bunch of nonsense and you don't need to do that. It's actually pretty simple. Naturally, we have to do this from desktop mode because that's where all the power is on the Steam Deck. So let's hop over there first. And at the time of the video, Proton 9.0 was in beta. So that's what we're going to use, but I'm gonna show you how to get around this if you don't have Proton 9.0 beta for whatever reason, right? Open up Steam, go to your library, type in Proton. All right, now anything that's highlighted in white, you have. So it says Proton 9, but how do you know if it's beta or not? So here's how you know. You're gonna click into 9.0 or whichever the highest one is that you have installed. Not experimental, not hotfix. Go to the gear, properties, go to installed files and browse. This is going to open up and show you what folder Proton 9 is under. So you can see it's Proton 9 beta. I'm gonna go back to common. And you're gonna see all the other protons that you have installed too. So for some reason you don't have 9.0 beta, you have something else that's weird. Uh, 8.0 will work as well as long as you have it installed. If you don't, go back to Steam and install one of these. So 9.0 beta is what we're gonna use to get around this problem. So go to your emulation folder. If you've used my tutorials in the past, go to home and choose MU Virtual. That will land you into your emulation folder wherever it may be. Go into uh, the emulation folder Go to Tools, Tools, and then Launchers. Down at the bottom, you're gonna see Xenia.sh, right click, open with Kate. You're going to go down to line 41, and you're gonna see that it's calling for dash experimental. Well, for some reason, experimental is busted. So highlight the items in between the quotes and type in 9.0 space, open paren, beta, capital B, close paren. That's it, I'll even make it a little bigger for you. That's what you're looking for. This will force Xenia to launch under Proton 9.0 beta instead of experimental, which believe it or not fixes everything. We're gonna go ahead and hit save and that's it, you're done. Now you can go back to playing your partially compatible games with Xenia. <laughs> but because I wanna be thorough here, let's go back. We're going to, uh, let's, let's just go back to return to gaming mode and let's check it out. All right, back in the emulation station. By the way, if you're using Steam ROM Manager, this might work, it might not. I am i don't use it, I don't recommend Steam ROM Manager. So uh, all I can do is help you through this and hopefully it works over there as well. Now, the first time you run this, it'll have to rebuild that Proton prefix. It could take a moment, but uh, you should no longer see your assertion failure. Ah, uh, but you will probably see and this is something you probably agreed to originally, but you forgot you agreed to it. So don't freak out, this is normal. Uh, do not open the quick start guide, just say no. You'll only see that once. Uh, and now your games are back to working. Listen, I hope this helped you out. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. I'm Shane Armonroe. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, we'll see you next time.